Okay, so I am here in Chicago at Hotel Blake, and this is a beautiful hotel. I'm sharing it with my friend James, who uh, is not here right now. He is actually out leading a workshop for Out of Chicago Photography Conference. There's some good, weird lighting in here. Got a little bit of downtime before we have to head out, grab a bite to eat, and then head over to the opening keynote. Art Wolf is doing the opening keynote for the photography conference, Out of Chicago Photography Conference. And after the keynote, there is something called a photo crawl, which is where all the speakers from the conference, including myself, we all go to designated locations around Chicago, and then all the attendees go in groups to each location. I am stationed at Calder's Flamingo, which is a really cool sort of uh, art statue type thing. It's this red thing in the middle middle of all these skyscrapers. It looks pretty cool. Uh, that's where I will be with Derek's story, and I'm looking forward to that event. I will be recording a little bit while I'm there too. So Art Wolf just did his uh, opening keynote at, out of Chicago, and now I'm at Calder, Calder's, Calder's, Calder's Flamingo, which is uh, off of Jackson and State Street in Chicago, and you can see it over there. I was here during the day, and it was uh, very bright out, and giving a lot of tips to the to all the uh, photo crawl attendees and. Everybody was asking different angles, and if you look at it, it's very large and very open in the middle, and lots of surrounding skyscrapers, and right now the sky is really nice. It was bright blue and cloudy before, and so I basically told everybody it's better at night, because now it's night, you can see it's all illuminated back there, and the sky is now getting darker and darker, as you can see. So basically the angle that I was telling everybody to do is lay down in the middle and looking up and photograph basically of the sky and the building surrounding it. There's two ways to photograph this this location. It's either a very wide lens to capture the wide view of everything or it's a very long lens, 80, like I have a 85 millimeter with me so it's either a 35 or 20 something very wide or a long like an 85 to get something closer, get more abstracts and things like that. What's up, Jacob? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, YouTube. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Welcome to Chicago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's good to be here. Thanks for joining. I feel like I'm in Daniel Tiger. Like, Hang hello, on. neighbor. We're gonna make a cameo in what are we doing? Photograph. Oh yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna. This is meta. This is called <laughs> meta because Jacob is photographing me vlogging right now in front of Calder's Flamingo. And is that even gonna come out? Yeah, it will. <laughs> You're in there somewhere, Scotty. Nice. Oh, that's good. I like it. Woo! There on the screen. Yeah, it's gonna be a little blurry, but that's okay. A little blurry. Yeah, yeah. So what do you? What? Do you, how are you photographing this? Uh, I want to get. I want to get all the city behind it. I've never been here before, and I'm like, I walked in and saw this, and it's like the wall of buildings right behind it. It's cool. So I'm yeah. trying to get as much of it in there as I can, so it looks just like this cool red sculpture in front of the city, but I, I, I tried doing some abstract stuff earlier um, with all the light. lines oh, and the, the shapes and so stuff. The light is perfect yeah. right now. And you know what's really cool? Every so often an airplane flies right by. I'm about to sit, switch situation myself right in the middle. About, <laughs> I can't even angle like that. I'm about to situation myself somewhere. in the middle to get an airplane going by. So that's what I'm about to do. <laughs> It's 
And I, 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 there we are. We're cooking. We're cooking. Right, your left hand is looking good. Scoot it over just a tiny bit. There you go. Now stand on your left foot. A little more. A little more time. Yeah. And it makes you look engaging because now you're leaning forward. Lean a little more forward. There you go. And then chin down a tiny bit and push your forehead out toward me. No, like, like this. Exactly so. And then chin down a hair. Right about there. Right about there. And look at my toes, Mary. Close mouth a second. Look up here. Wink one time. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Next. Self. This way? Yeah. Just a bit. Like about yay? Right about yay. Is that the right right response for like right, right about yay? yay. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Back it up a touch. <laughs> so Steve's got like a, a little a little gentle smile as if he's okay. taking over the world and we like it. <laughs> so look down at my toes. Lean forward on that foot, there you go. And then a little less lean, right about there. Glance up here like you're taking over the world and I like it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I think we're good, Jacob. Good stuff, man. <laughs> One and done. I like it. it. Thank you very much. Bet. Appreciate My it. Pleasure. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there it is. That's right good. There. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so you're all going to be on YouTube. Hope you don't mind. If you do mind, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're waiting for the screen to come on. So I'm back at the hotel after a uh, really good day at Out of Chicago Photography Conference. And this morning I sat in on the Hit the Streets uh, panel, which was actually a live podcast recording for Valerie Jardin and uh, James Mayer was in it and uh, Marie, I can never pronounce her last name, was in it. I'll make sure I link to her website too. Uh, and Steve Simon was in it. Fantastic panel. Uh, and the episode's actually going to be uh, probably live before I get this video live. So if it is, I'll be sure to link to that as well. And then I had a photo walk to do at 9.45 and we went from the conference center, which is University Center, and we walked up uh, State Street all the way to Millennium Park to see, I think it was called Crown Fountains, and then also, uh, which is really cool by the way, really cool, uh, they're more than just fountains, and then we walked to the Bean, uh, which is obviously a tourist spot, but that was, that was fantastic, that was really fun, I got to photograph a lot of people taking selfies, because not a lot of street photography you can do there, because there's so much going on, so many people doing the touristy thing, so you might as well make the best of it and photograph the people doing the touristy stuff like taking self. Afterwards, uh, we went back to the university center and looked through some of the photographs and whatnot. Had a nice long a nice lunch, a long break, uh, and then I had a class to teach at 4, 4.30. Turned out the iPad, uh, which I only brought my iPad. iPad wasn't going through the projector so well, which was very odd, so I wound up having to stall a little bit, about 15 minutes until we got my keynote presentation to Chris Smith's laptop. Uh, Chris runs out of Chicago Photography Conference. And once we did that, I was able to finish my presentation still on time. I had to go through the slides fairly quick. And that was on introverted street photography. And, uh, and then after the conference, we had a speaker dinner, which was great. It was at Bar Louie. And then uh, had some good conversations there. And then we, my friend Jacob and I walked to the planetarium where we watched sunset and did some photography of the skyline from there. And then we walked back to our hotels. And we just got back and it's been a long day. It was a hot, humid day because it is uh, June, end of June. So it's getting hot and humid on the East Coast or on the East in general. This, technically I'm in the Midwest, but Still. Anyway, so uh, I, I just got back to the room, took a shower, cleaned up, got ready for bed, and I just want to share two quick travel tips. Number one, I always travel with these. I know what it looks like. It's not what you think it is. This is actually a Nikon lens wipe. I can't get that in focus with one hand. That's okay. 
Anyway, so it's a um, Nikon lens wipe. I've tried so many lens wipes um, that with the liquid already in it, ready to go. And I found the Nikon ones to be the best. I don't know why they're so good, but they are so good. And they come in a giant box. Uh, I, you can get them on Amazon, but they're not always listed on Amazon. So you can only get them every so often. So keep, I will link to it if I can find it again on Amazon right now, uh, at the time of editing this. I will link to it, but I definitely recommend picking up a box because I always keep a handful of them in my camera bag, especially when traveling. I have more than a handful because they're good for glasses, they're good for lenses, they're good for LCD screens, and they don't leave any smudges ever. I don't know why they're so good, but they're fantastic. One thing that I do, and this is not just an everyday travel tip, this is not just for photographers. Dirty clothes add up quick, even if you're going for a weekend. Take the laundry bag from the closet that you can have your laundry done at the hotel. They usually have multiple bags. This hotel room has four bags. So this bag's almost filled, it has a drawstring in it, so I can just, you know, pull the string, keep it sealed, throw it in my suitcase, and I can keep anything I don't wear, which is clean, separate from what is dirty. Simple travel tip. So there's two tips for you right there. Now I'm gonna go to sleep, wake up in the morning. Uh, my buddy James has a, another class, and I have a class at 11, and it's gonna be another good day. So, last day of the conference tomorrow, and then I go home Monday. So, yeah, see ya.